Oh my goodness gracious. Gotta make sure my music's still going, because that's a pain, man. All right. So as you can see, not only does Steam have their summer sale going, but GOG has their summer sale going as well. And if you don't know what GOG is, GOG is a website or used to be a website. It still is a website. I don't say it used to be, but you can only pretty much go to the website and see everything. Okay. But now they have like a standalone player called GOG Galaxy or a, a, it's like Steam. But what it is, it's a, um, they used to have only but old classic games like your old DOS games. They were remaking them for Windows. It's basically pure old school type PC games. Okay. Pretty much where you go for all the old good stuff and some of the real stuff that makes PC gaming unique. Okay. So they have their sales going on too. Um, as you can see, uh, we'll look at the store in a second, but we'll look at my games here. So you can actually see that I'm kind of serious about this. Um, actually got a free Witcher 3, so it's here. Um, Jade Empire, SimCity 2000, uh, Loom, old, old game from, uh, um, oh my God, LucasArts, there it is. The Dig, King's Bounty, have the old King's Bounty stuff. King's Bounty Dark Side, I have Grim Fandango remastered on here. Dracula, I have all the Draculas. Here's the, the good Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis, man. The good one. Here's uh, Emperor's Tomb. Let's go back. Indiana Jones, Paint of Atlantis, uh, Fly the Amazons. I have Vampire. So all these Omicron, if you've never played Omicron, holy crap, that, that, man, that was a good one. Of course, all the Riddick. So as you can see, I have all these older ones, all, pretty much all the Weezer Shoot, Leezer Suit Larry games. Gangsters, the original. This, should, this probably wouldn't have been a phone app back in the day. Gangsters would have been. If it was released now, it'd been a, it would have been a it would have been a phone app. I have Wing Commander three because seriously, of all the Wing Commanders, that's the best one. Mark Mark Hamill. I have some Space Quest, um, Police Quest stuff. Uh, it's just really if you're into old school gaming for the PC, this is it. Um, let's look at the store. Let's see what's on sale if we can. All right, there we go. I think I got to open this. I just updated this and opened it. I don't think I, I don't think it updated right. We're not running GOG at when it's update, by the way. Startup page will be the store. All right. And I have to change that because I don't want my uh, games going to my C drive. All right, so we got uh, Wolf Among Us is six twenty nine. That's okay. Tales from Borderland is now uh, to twelve forty nine, which is pretty good. Bundled deals, The Walking Dead, um, three games for thirteen dollars, which is pretty good. Lucasfilm Adventures up to sixteen sixty one. If we look here at seven games, Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island Two, Sam and Max, and Zach Kraken and the Alien and Mindbenders. Which right now is only a dollar ninety nine, which I'm probably gonna get. Oh, it's only dollar ninety nine if you get all that. So I like the fact that if you already have this stuff, it doesn't count it, and it it marks it down even more. So it's ten sixty four. So it pretty much does your calculations on the fly. So if you already have something like on Steam, if you have it, and it's in a bundle, you have to pay full price for the bundle. On GOG, when you do it, it actually takes an account for that, and it says, okay, well now you don't pay this, this, and this, and this. Which is really good. So we have Dungeons and Dragons remade Heroes of Might and Magic Pack for six games for only seventeen dollars. Six games for seventeen dollars. Holy crap! Stalker games, two games for nine ninety eight, which is not bad. Uh, Best of Bullfrog for thirteen dollars, which is Dungeon Keeper Gold, Dungeon Keeper Two. These are pretty good games if you're into, like I said, this type of PC gaming. Roller Coaster Tycoon, of course. Uh, Bundle Quest. 
five games king's quest one two and three king's quest four five and six quest for glory five and quest for infamy for only nine dollars and if you know old pc dos gaming that's a good deal wing commander saga here we go all the wing commanders look at that eight dollars and of course i got the good one i got the good one duh you ain't trying to you ain't gonna get me man all right so we got uh broken sword saga five games for 13 dollars raymond uh deponia good games the guild interplay fight flight school telltale games max dark sider series three games 17 dollars fps icons six games for 13 dollars you have fear fear 2 sin gold alien vs predator blood and blood 2 some of those are good some of those are they're not bad they're not bad i'm not gonna can't i don't know if i can sell that one a little better modern uh retro Vin venture never heard of those but okay never heard of those all right so then we got uh sid myers has five games for 5.95 which that's pretty good uh settlers pack you have five games for 12. i'm looking this actually i'm just opening this just like you right now we're seeing this together for the first time hard hardcore role play for 11 dollars. man those are some hardcore games holy crap that's a pretty good deal, man. That would keep you busy for like three, four months. Holy moly. I'm not kidding you. Um, what else we got? Load up on Larry's Love for four thirty-seven three games. Devolver movie night up? What is that? Oh, Angry V oh, they're all movies. Um That's not bad. That's pretty good. Video game movies um world war pack five games for seven dollars Thief the thief games for 747 so let's look at that thief thief two and thief three so good seven dollars those are the good ones too i'm not gonna kid you those are the good ones i'm though oh my gosh i remember those days so runaway for five dollars that's a good little i guess like a click adventure Gamers Pack, five movies for seven forty fifty five. That's not bad. And then of course we have some other highlighted deals. Um nothing I would be like, hey, get that immediately. Staff picks, Saints Row, The Witcher, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Old school gaming. Pretty fun. Anything else? Door kickers. Not a bad one. Banner saga. Not a bad one. Hmm. I'm trying to see if they got anything that's like amaze, amaze balls. There's wings remastered edition. Oh my gosh. Deadly premonition for only 249. It's pretty good. Um. I don't see anything really fantastic here. Yeah. I mean, nothing that I haven't seen on Steam. Let's put it that way. I mean, if you were just doing this, then it is. Um, Let's see what is new. Tales from Borderland, The Walking Dead, The 400 Days, 249, Season 1. Blah, blah, blah. D4 is new. I'm trying to see. There's Star Trek. Which, which they've just released on Steam as well. Subject 13. I don't know what Subject 13 is. What is Subject 13? Huh. Sometimes they have some indie developers and some other stuff come on. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying I've never heard of it. Dragon Wars, Massive Chalice, Game of Thrones. I'm trying to see if anything like they redid an old... A lot of indie developers come here. 
Star Trek. Some of the old Star Trek stuff, I'm telling you. Super awesome. Here's some old Star Wars Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight 2. Uh, the Rebel Assault 1 and 2. They were making old games popular before they were popular. I'm going to tell you that right now. Titan Souls. Nosferatu. There's Indiana Jones again. Here's Zack McCracken, which I think I'm going to get because that was a good one, man. Lucas Arts back in the day. The only thing that I wish they had, which maybe I can do a search on, is Full Throttle. I would love to see Full Throttle. Do they have Full Throttle? I don't think they do. Still don't have it. Doggone it. I really want that game. That's like one of my favorite games. That's one I want. So let's look it up coming. Let's see what we got. Guild of Dungeoneers, which is a role playing. Never heard. Oh, I've never heard of it, but it sounds cool. Um, anything good that I see? Shadow Warrior 2. Not gonna lie, pretty good. And then here's everything that's on sale. Wing Commander stuff. I might buy... I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I don't know. I might not buy anything. Giant Citizen Kabuto. <laughs> I think I'm going to spell that. Indiana. The Fate of Atlantis is the one I own. And this is like the old school fantastic one where you have the collect all your stuff and talk to and push and give and open so good best one ever telling you right here so good but anyway that's GOG they have it on sale too and keep them in mind too if you like old school gaming or if you're just tired of the new stuff and you want to go back to the old stuff just keep it in mind okay um as always don't feed the trolls look both ways for crossing the street and you know Hug a panda bear.